All right, so for the past week or so, I've been rebuilding Webflow in Webflow. Flow Mingo. All right, so if you don't know, my name is Mackenzie Child. I have been working on a new project called Flowmingo. So Flowmingo is all things Webflow. So I've been creating templates and courses, teaching people how to build sites in Webflow. So there's constantly new and awesome things happening and being built in Webflow and just around the Webflow no-code community. So I've been wanting to create a resource where you can go and discover the latest and greatest in the world of Webflow. So that brings me to Flamingo Discover. All right, so this is still very much a work in progress, but what I've been wanting to do is create sort of like an immersive experience. So as if you're in the Webflow designer. So I have been rebuilding Webflow inside Webflow. So obviously this isn't an actual functioning designer. Uh, you can't add elements, you can't delete anything or move anything around. And of course, it's very stylized to the Flamingo brand. But when somebody goes on to Flamingo slash discover, they'll be able to click around, which is pretty fun. So you'll be able to preview. Uh, you'll be able to change the different sizes. Uh, you can add a submission. I swapped out the add panel for a uh, submit content form. It has like the layers panel, uh, the pages, CMS and stuff, some assets and all that, as well as like publish and share this page. The right sidebar is still very much incomplete. I have some of the style section set up. I'm still missing like these tabs as well. So this was built like mostly in Webflow, I'd say like 97%. Then there's a bit of custom code, CSS I had to use to get this layout. The majority of the custom code I used is for the different sizes. So if you click on this, it adds an ID uh, to the, the wrapper. And then I add custom CSS to basically fake the media query. So I have styles for tablet, mobile landscape, and mobile portrait. And then of course, if you scale it down, it just it just hides all that because it just wouldn't work well on mobile. The majority of the UI is built using the dropdown components. Uh, so all these sidebar panels are just dropdowns. I use that because it allows you to uh, click around and click on different ones without having to do a bunch of interactions or custom code. Uh, the downside to this is like I couldn't get the um, close button to work. I tried using an interaction to close this as well as some custom code, but the issue with that is it would close it, but then uh, the panel would still be highlighted and you would have to click two or three times in order to open it again. So I just uh, ditched that. The right sidebar is just using the tabs component. And then these ones are just interactions. And when you click on like tablet, it adds an idea tablet using some jQuery. Then I have some custom CSS to fake the media query for this. But yeah, there's still like a lot of things I need to clean up on this. It's working pretty well so far. Basically, what I want to do on this site is curate anything Webflow. So sites made in Webflow, tools that you can connect to your Webflow site to add some functionality like JetBoost or member stack, articles, clonables, as well as like tweets and maybe jobs or something in the future could be cool. You'll be able to filter between all of these. I set up JetBoost so you can live filter between everything. Also, you'll be able to like and favorite these, which is pretty cool. And then what I'm planning is if you click on one of these, some of them will just go directly to a link. Others will go to the template page. And I'm also adding some like personalized notes about each of these. Uh, just saying like what I like and why I think it's worth adding to this directory. So yeah, it's uh, not quite ready yet. It's almost there. If you want to check it out, go to flamingo slash discover. You can click around and see all the interactions on this. Uh, just know it's still a work in progress. I'm finishing up like these sidebar panels and some other things before I officially launch it. And of course, if there's anything you think would be cool to feature here, anything Webflow related, click on the sidebar panel and submit content. I set up a form so you can like submit a link and uh, what you like about it and your name and stuff. And then that sends it over to my Airtable where I can uh, review and uh, add it back into Webflow if I like it. All right, I think that's all for this video. I just wanted to share what I've been working on because I'm really excited about it. I think it's pretty cool. If you want to follow along with what I'm doing, I've been posting on Twitter. I'm at McKinsey Child on Twitter or just go to flamingo.co and you can check out what I've been working on. All right, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll talk to you later. Peace.